All right, everybody, straight into it. No intro again. Just when I thought I could take a day off from talking to you guys and giving you some more information, we get another crazy moment. Uh, at only a week, only a week, seven and a half days since release, and Pokemon Center has already sold out again of the booster boxes of Surging Sparks. Now, if you watched the video earlier this week, or actually yesterday, the day before yesterday, I forgot it. It's all blending together now. Too many updates are having to come through. Uh, you were able to pick these up for $161 on the website. And I was telling everybody, if you're looking for boxes, buy from here because TCG Player was overcharging at $177, $180 plus tax and some with shipping. Now the lowest listed box is $184 plus $13 shipping. So roughly $194 shipped before tax. So out the door, you guys are paying over $200 now for a box of Surging Sparks. Now, this was the catalyst that I was talking about. It's going to be one of two things. It was either going to be distributors were going to get a pretty decent sized restock to, to get out there so people were going to be able to bring the prices down a little bit now i do assume that most people that were selling these weren't going to like panic sell because they knew the hype was still a real thing um so i didn't think that the prices were going to drop below what msrp ever was on here uh but i did not expect them to sell out in a week so it took only a week everything sold out except for the uh the single pack blisters and this is really interesting these are probably going to be sold out soon too because if they've gone down to a purchase limit of 10 on these um in the past the purchase limit on these was higher i don't know when it switched to 10 but if the limit is still this low that means it's probably going to be running out pretty soon as well um so keep that in mind i thought it was going to take 48 hours over the weekend for this to go to 200 but it looks like the boxes are already nearing 200 uh and it's it's pretty crazy uh it's pretty crazy i haven't heard anything from distro yet we haven't heard of any restocks reprint pokemon can step in and say something but the thing is they're not going to be able to just flip a switch and make it happen on the spot it's going to take time right so anything can happen from now until that moment whenever they turn these printers on to get this out there because they already have so much going on with the demand of prismatic evolutions the upcoming team rocket set or whatever our march and april set is going to be they have all that stuff going on plus the holiday stuff they just had to print and get out the Tarabagos ex premium collections so just a lot of different things all on top of one another right now with the english pokemon market and again guys follow our discord i try to put in there when things go out of stock if there's deals if there's anything that goes back in stock for pre-orders we try to list it in our deals and drop section so make sure you guys are checking that out me or the mods typically will drop a link in there if this stuff is available uh keep an eye on your local game stores especially now since surging sparks is out of print you're probably going to see a lot of lgs's mark up instantly now to 200 so if your lgs has them for like 170 and below snap buy it if you want a box if you want it now or else you're going to have to wait quite some time to be able to get a booster box of surging sparks for a price lower than that but again you're going to see these prices between 200 and 260 i don't know where it's going to land but it's going to be somewhere in that range it could be higher depending on what these sellers do uh but with only 54 listings right now and the lowest one being 195 the sky's the limit depending on what distributors are going to trickle out if they're going to decide to go up in price on normal normal stores like me or even bigger stores uh, we'll see what happens again i use phd and southern hobby uh, for my distributors who are pretty well-known distributors so as i get information you guys will have the same information uh, but it's very very interesting now i do want to take a look at some of the singles here because we did take a look at pikachu earlier today and pikachu finally came down from that 650 selling point which we had a small downturn in booster box prices and a big influx of singles hitting the market there was way more listings of pikachu there was i think 80 at one point so that was able to get the price down because there was a little bit of a race to the bottom but it wasn't that far um, if you guys look at the sales data here, sales data on Pikachu still showing right at 500, some in the 490 range. There was a couple for 475, I think I saw last night uh, when I was looking on here, but still pretty much right at 500. And now that the boxes are sold out, uh, I do think that that's going to drive the price up on this. Now, I have a couple other cards I want to look at uh, before we come back to talking about Surging Sparks. I'm going to make this kind of short and sweet today. We're not going to go long. Obviously, I want to make sure I talk to you guys, but people are starting to get, get kind of wind of... A big hype coming the holidays are coming people are wanting to pick up a lot of the you know the more chase cards from some of these sets temporal you have the raging bolt which if you guys look at the one month chart it's all up right but look at the three month chart look at the big dip this took back in september all the way down to 66 dollars, and it's recovered big time already uh coming all the way back up so for the past month of 15 percent back all the way up to 83 dollar market um, you have lightly play copies at that price but you're still looking at 80 bucks um or higher whenever you guys are looking for copies of this uh, and then the Altaria and the Miriam, which I'm going to talk about next, are actually what I think to be very good purchases. So if you guys are looking for a card that probably has a lot of room to grow, Altaria is so 
cheap right now guys at 26 dollars. i think that's a fantastic buy miriam you guys are going to be able to find these like all day for 20 bucks some uh, some vendors today where i was at charlie's collectible show had these in their cases for 18 for near mint copies um i think that's great deals on these cards if you guys are looking just for some good kind of cards to invest in if you guys are looking to spec on some stuff get a couple copies of these because they have a lot of room to grow not saying they're going to grow like crazy but they have a lot of room to grow okay now back to big popular cards bubble muse still running almost it was very very close getting close to 200 um lowest listing on here now is 184 plus shipping let's go ahead and take a look at the sales data sales data on here for near mint copies pretty much right at that 200 mark though you're looking at 185 between 185 and 200 there was a 209 sale a lot of times guys i think these are just outliers someone just clicks whatever the the most uh the most recent verified or uh what is it tcg direct is on here now i do think you're going to see a pretty big surge in pricing over the next couple of weeks because tcg player does a cash back deal for cyber weekend whenever they do this around thanksgiving or whenever the big deals are where you can get cash back into your account and this time they're also going like they're giving you like little gift card potential gifts uh so there's going to be a lot of stuff with that but beware a lot of the prices you guys see in here for sets are probably going to be higher because i'm assuming the sellers are going to go mark up anticipating a lot of people trying to cash in on those deals so just keep an eye on that if there's cards you guys are looking for uh definitely keep an eye on it for that cyber weekend so you can get some cash back or maybe win some of the cyber weekend little gift cards that they're going to do here and then guys we still have some stuff on chrispytcg.com and these are for rips only these aren't you know for purchasing seal boxes but still we're still at 160 i think we released 12 boxes so as the filming this video if these run out before the market moves at all or anything like that we're still going to keep them at 160 unless the market just goes to the roof then they may change a little bit but we have 12 boxes available for monday stream uh and still a lot of other stuff available as well but pokemon center selling out's pretty big guys i i don't know what to expect for this this entire next month and a half to two months before we get prismatic evolutions i just don't know what to expect i'm hoping there's going to be a couple more waves of surging sparks from somewhere because if there is not anything from somewhere whether it be distro level whether it be tcg player doing crazy just like people listing them like crazy if we don't see anything get listed guys you're going to see pikachu start climbing again it's going to be similar to what we saw with moonbrion um, when the box prices at evo started to climb along with it and then you're also going to be seeing this booster box price go way way higher uh definitely by christmas if there's no reprint this is going to be well over 250. i mean i said between 200 and 260 as soon as the pokemon center started to dry up and the box prices are already getting up there guys and i'm not going to keep you too long today but this is something that's pretty press this is insane like this is it's it's both good and it, it could be bad for certain people in the hobby but this is healthy for the hobby having moments like this this hype drives a lot of people into the hobby that may not have been into the hobby and even if they're only in here for a little bit they might collect they may go in and out of the hobby um i do know a lot of people think that it's only a negative but having moments like this in the hobby are definitely healthy for an overall ecosystem you're going to always have ups and downs right um so it's different hype things like this they're great for local game stores they're great for sellers they're great for some collectors too that were able to get their hands on stuff pre-ordered to make a little bit of extra money anytime that you can make money in the hobbies guys that is what generates more people into the hobby because it's not exactly a hot take when the majority of the people that are in the hobby guys are in it because they're like hey i can have fun i can invest in things that i like and then i have a chance to make money off of it that is it's not a hot take it's just the truth and if there was no way to make money on the hobby the hobby would die so having these ups and downs are really important for the hobby but this is just something that i have never experienced even when i'm watching from the sidelines uh when we were doing just magic the gathering predominantly and not really doing a whole lot of pokemon uh but yeah this has been pretty pretty wild but let me know your thoughts let me know what you guys think do you think pokemon center is going to restock it if you guys have distros that are saying other things obviously just let me know because i love to get as much information as i can out to everybody that watches the channel that joins our live streams that hangs out with us in discord i like to be able to get all of that information to you guys because i don't want anybody to make uncalculated decisions um obviously there's a lot of variance and chance like the pokemon can be like hey we're releasing a ton more and there's just a big surge of stuff no pun intended for surging sparks but you know i just don't think that the odds are very likely if they're limiting us on this already and they've pulled the booster boxes from the website so the fact that they pulled the booster boxes and they're sold out on here means that these have been getting bought up by the limits like day after day after day after day because this was the cheaper price 
compared to TCG player. So guys, keep that in mind. Take what you will from it. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Hopefully I got you some good information, but if you see any boxes or ancillary products out there, that's what I personally would be looking for to break open, Target, Walmart, GameStop, any of your local stores that have ancillary product that's not marked up. Those are gonna be your best bet for opening stuff. If you guys are looking for booster boxes, anything under 170, I would just literally just snap by it. If you guys see booster boxes for that price uh, with no reprint in sight, no restock in sight, and Pokemon Center not making some kind of announcement after they've sold out. Uh, I just think that this means going into the holidays. We, we may, it's crazy to think this, but we may see these boxes, guys, pretty close to almost $300 by the end of the year. And it's very, very possible. Is it likely? Maybe not, but it is very, very possible to see these boxes close to $300 with no restock. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you on the next video or the next live.